Running with Ryan for ClarksvilleNow.com. My name is Ryan. We're out here at Rotary Park. This guy is Jeff Stafford, fresh off of his finish of the Mark Twain 100 mile ultra marathon, 100 miles through the Mark Twain National Forest in Missouri, and he finished in sixth place. Jeff, how are you? I feel like I've been hit by a freight train. <laughs> <laughs> a little tired. So, Jeff, why the heck did you run 100 miles? I'm not sure. <laughs> it was it was something uh, I've always wanted to do. I started off at 50k distance and moved to 50 mile, and 100 mile just seemed like the next logical progression. So that's what I did. I know they say you're never supposed to ask a lady her age. You're not a lady. I'm going to ask you your age. This is important. Jeff, how old are you? 58 and a half. Dang it! I, I've been saying this whole time. You're 60. <laughs> Close enough. I, well, you're, yeah, well, we're gonna round up to Close 60. Enough. I know you're you're a veteran. You were in the service, right? Have you always loved running, or is this ultra running thing? Have you just kind of picked this up later no, in life? No, I have not always loved running. I uh, obviously you have to run while you're in the service in the military. Mm -hmm. uh, you learn to love to hate running at that point. Uh, got out of the military in the early 2000s and didn't run for 10 plus years. And one weekend after Christmas, the wife and I went for a walk, and that walk turned into a run, and the run just went from there. And so you went from that little run walk with your wife yes. to running 100 miles, miles. Uh, last week. Running 100 miles, when did it absolutely stink? Did it, did it get to a point where you were like, I can't possibly go anymore? I had, uh, a lot of times they'll refer to them as low points mm -hmm. in the race. I had two low points. One was at uh, about 40 miles when I had some uh, IT band, which is uh, yeah runs down the side of your leg issues. Makes as well your knee as, hurt real bad. As well as a rather large golf ball sized blister. Um, Push through that, and then another one, uh, low point, as I reached 99.97 miles, I realized I had five more miles to they, go. Right, right. So a lot of times <laughs> with hundreds, when it's on a trail, they don't measure it exactly. So it could be anywhere from 100.2 miles to, in your case, it was how long? 105 105. Now, one thing I think when people hear a 100-mile race, all in one day, right? you don't stop. Did you take any naps? No naps. Nope. No naps. What did you eat during that entire day? Primarily, I used uh, all the aid station foods, which were anything from pickles to pancakes to bacon to cheeseburgers to pizza to you. I ate anything and everything. Did you? So you had pizza. So oh, yes. How many miles in did you, did you have a slice of pizza? Well, it was the, the main thing. The biggest one for me was the pi the uh, pickle wrapped up in a pancake. You ate a pickle wrapped up in yes, a pancake. In a blueberry pancake. <laughs> no it, was, it was excellent. <laughs> This is about 2.30 in the morning. You don't care. All right, so when you finish a 100-mile race, most often uh, you're thinking, what, do they give you a big, gigantic medal? No. Do they give you a straight jacket to take you to the mental institution? No. They give you one of these. This is what Jeff got right here. Jeff, hold your buckle here. I, did, I, did, I didn't earn this one. They give you a belt buckle. That is Jeff's belt buckle for finishing go. the Mark Twain 100. By the way, he finished sixth. What was your time finish, your finishing time? 27.51. He ran for 27 hours and 51 minutes to get that buckle. Uh, Jeff, I think it's just an awesome achievement and uh, so Thanks, proud man. of you for doing it. Thank you for coming and talking to me about this. And now hopefully people watch this and are inspired and say, hey, if, if Jeff Stafford at we're going to round it up to 60 years old, <laughs> can run 100 miles. Uh, you can too. Right. You can, Well, maybe not 100, <laughs> but you can go run around the block and you can go ahead and do that. Running with Ryan, go to ClarksvilleNow.com. It's a great website for more articles about running and news and all that good stuff out here at Rotary Park. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.